So I know that this lipstick and eyeshadow pairing is probably too much, but you know when you put so much effort into trying out some lipstick and you're like lining your lips and then it's like, I actually don't know if I like this, but I don't feel like taking it off because I just put so much effort into putting it on. So this is what we have. We're just, I'm just gonna be very intense today. But anyways, this is an update for the Frankly My Darling I Don't Give a Pan project pan that was created by Amanda and Jessica from the Fantastic Ladies. And I believe there are some other people doing it. I will link some information below. And um, it's basically just a product where we work on a bunch of Franken items, which is just makeup that's made of other makeup items mixed together. And I'm just gonna go straight into the Franken eyeshadow palette I have in this old e.l.f. palette that no longer has any e.l.f. shades inside of it. And I'm gonna show you what it looked like last month compared to this month. Now I'm hesitant to fully lift this up to you guys because there's a lot of loose fragments of one of the eyeshadows here, so I'll just try to um, not have those spill out. Um, but as you can see, I made some decent progress. Not the most amazing, but I hit some goals. I don't think I made that many goals last time anyways because I was just like, I no. So um, first shade. This one I actually used three times, which is more than I have in the past. So, um, I liked it. The thing is, it's almost like that awkward in between where it seems like too dark for me to want to put on my lid. I say this with a dark smoky eye on my face. So, <laughs> it's not this dark. But I feel like when it comes to neutrals, I typically want something lighter. So at one point I used this along the lash line. It was actually, I think, last, whatever, last update where I was wearing very minimal makeup. I had it like smudge on my lash line and it had a very subtle dimension. Um, I also used it in a look where it was kind of in the outer part, almost in the crease area, and it was just a bunch of shimmers. But it was actually quite pretty. I don't even know, did I take a picture? If I did, you'll see it. Um, and I don't remember the other time I used it, but I used it three times. And I like it, it's just fine. I still have to figure out how I wanna use it to really enjoy it. This next gold shade I also used three times, not gonna lie, don't remember using it, but I did. Um, and I kinda wanted to use it one more time before this update so I could use up these crumbs, but I didn't cause I didn't feel like it. I just wasn't feeling warm tones this past month, which I thought I would after using so many cool tones, but I just, I'm doing whatever I feel like so that I don't get too bored or annoyed with shadows. Now, this pink shadow I only used three times and that is mostly because I have been focusing on using up a pinkish crease shade in my Pan That palette that is very close to being done, but um, because of that, I when I want to do something pink, I reach for that more and so I only use it three times. I think I use it in... A look that I tried to make cool, but it just didn't look quite right. I feel like using a bunch of old shadows together, just compared to today, I'm using a bunch of newer shadows. And you really, when you're used to using old shadows, man, I was like, this is how it's supposed to be. Wow. Well, okay. This is a lot easier. Uh, <laughs> But anyways, I still like the color. It's a pretty light pinkish shade. Um, this next shade I only used once, the orange. I don't remember when I used it, but I used it, so yeah. Um, again, like a light orangey shade. I just haven't been drawn to the warm tones a ton this month, so I haven't really reached for that. And this gold I used four times, not gold, that's a green. It's a greeny gold. Um, and I don't know how well you can see, but there's definitely a dip forming. I don't know how close I am to pan, not that close, but considering it was filled to the brim, unlike the other Frankas I made, I'm very happy to make a visible dent in that shadow. I really do enjoy it. It is more intense than others, um, but sometimes it gets too thick and it wears off like chunky but that's like if i wear it for a long time and it's like late at night and i look in the mirror and i'm like disgusting cute um 
Anyway, I did not use this taupey shade, nor did I use this brown shade at all. It just didn't happen. I was working on other shades that kind of served a similar purpose, so they just were backburnered. I used this bone cream shade, whatever, 17 times, um, usually just to kind of carve my brows just by like brightening it slightly um, and maybe cleaning up underneath my eyes. I definitely will have this done by next time, but I'm not in a rush. It, it's just a handy shade. It's not one that I'm like, oh no, I gotta finish soon. Sorry if the camera shifted. I'm just really paranoid after that one time that I was filming the wrong direction. So I just wanted to double check. <laughs> just kidding, I did use this matte once. I totally forgot about that. Um, not that much progress, but I used it once. And I used this blue twice, even though it looks like I used it way more. This is the two times I used it. I think the first time I used it, I hit pan. And then the second time I just expanded it a lot. And also I kind of needed a lot to really build up the color because it's not the most pigmented. So, um, hit pan in one shade and just expanded the pans in some others. But not that much different. I'm just kind of chugging away. Um... I think I'll definitely have a lot more progress on this palette once I finish more of the Pan That Palette shades, um, especially the like light crease shades. I'm still working on a light brown and that pinkish shade and so the brown and the pinkish shade in here. I don't pay attention to as much. There's something in my eye. Oh gosh. I, I don't know what was in my eye, but everything's fine. So moving on to the number seven trio. I'm probably spoiling right now, but I will show you a picture of last month compared to this month and talk about my progress. Alright, so there's only three shades in here, so there's not a ton to update on, except I used this silver four times and all but one time was in the same look with that pink cree shade from that fan that palette i literally just did the same look three times but um each time i think it got better because i got the hang of what i wanted it to look like it was really simple but because that cree shade was a shimmery shade it blended really well with this um silver and it just kind of created this cool gradient and it looked like i put a lot more effort into the look than i actually did so yeah, look at that pan expansion. Pretty happy about that. And this green one I only used once and I didn't start on this pink because again, I'm, I'm already working on pinks and I can't do too many at once. So yeah, just making my way downtown, walking fast. Why am I singing? I, <laughs> I guess when I don't know what to say, I'm just gonna start singing. I don't, I'm in a weird mood today. So, um update i was trying to take pictures of my progress and then transport the compacts back into my room and my graceful self dropped my um little number seven palette so uh a chunk fell out honestly i thought it was gonna be worse when it fell i made a very dramatic scene of it um but it's fine just thought i'd give that update um I will have a different looking picture next time for uh, the updates because I'm beauty, I'm grace. I drop my compacts on their face. Moving on to the face products, I just want to get the most eventful one out of the way. Well, not necessarily, but um, this was a Franken concealer showing the pictures. Um, there was not much left. There was just some of the purple one. So I used this 16 times since last month. And that means I used the purple one a total of 61 times and the green one a total of 41 times. So uh, yeah, they were fine. When I stopped using them, didn't really notice much of a difference. So yeah, glad they're gone. They're definitely not necessary in my makeup routine. But they didn't do anything bad, I guess. It was just kind of like a thing that I did to use it up. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, very happy this is done just to get a concealer out of my inventory. So the only other cream product in this project is a blush stick that I made that I was trying to make into lip balm. And then I was like, actually, I actually don't really like this as a lip color. So now it's a blush. Anyways, I only use it eight times this month. Um, you can see my lines, it definitely slowed down. However, the way I was able to make 
that much progress with only eight uses is because I use it on my lips a couple times with like a clear gloss on top and I kind of liked it. It's just the, the tone of the pink, a little bit too bright and warm. I don't know, it just was like a little mm, too pink, but like it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, I'm happy. Um, I'm still just singing. I gotta stop, but here we are. So moving on to the other powder products that aren't eyeshadows, I have this brow powder that I hit pan on. I used it 20 times in the past month. Um, I think I've started to use slightly less even today with dramatic looks. I just don't like the quite as intense brow, but my brows probably still look intense, let's be honest here. Um, yeah, just chugging along, using dark brown eyeshadows that I franken in my brows. Just, I don't have much commentary, but I'm happy I had pan. I was very surprised because I was using a lot of just like everywhere. I wasn't focusing on one spot, but to be fair, when I repress things, it's not super even. So I probably just repressed it lopsided and made one side shallower. But yeah, pretty excited that I made some visible progress. I thought it was just gonna be like, I increased the dip and you couldn't see in the camera, but it pan. Speaking of hitting pan that I did not expect, this bronzer, <coughs> no one expected that. I've been using this on the days I don't use contour for warm looks, which again, since I haven't been wearing warm looks as much this month. I haven't used this as much as the contour. Also because the contour just works more with my skin tone in general. This is very orange, <laughs> but I'll still use it. So I only use this seven times, but I think the reason I was able to hit pan is because the way I repress this, there's like, do you see these little air bubbles? There's a, there's like a gnat flying by. The audacity of this. Oh, did I get it? <gasps> I did, I killed it. Ayo. Happy about that. Did you get off my hand, you little dead carcass? Aha. <laughs> uh, I do enjoy killing bugs. Um, anyways, so I don't know how well you can tell, but there's like these air bubbles going on here. So I think because of that, there was little air bubbles that made it easier to hit pan because it's not as thin as it should be to hit pan in at least some of the spaces because there's a few little pans but hey i still have pan so i will take it i'm hoping that i will get it to the point where i can start expanding it maybe connect those two main mini pans in the center but i'm just happy that i thought it was just gonna look the same for the first six months of the year so what a misdirect we had i'm not mad about it all right and speaking of pan my contour at least the first one, I finished. I used it seven times and then I moved on to the second one. They're technically the same powder. I just put it into two pans because I couldn't fit into one. So I don't count it as two products. It's just the same one. I used this one eight times, including today. Still really like the color. Um, This one doesn't look much different other than just slightly more worn. Um. But I'm very happy to get the first one done. I use it a lot faster than I thought I would. I almost feel like I'll miss this because it's just a unique, neutral, cool tone that's not pinky. Um, but I just made it out of random old shadows. So um, can't really replicate that easily. So that is all of the products I'm working on in this project. I'm not gonna roll anything new to replace the concealer just because I don't have anything to replace it with. But in terms of goals, I don't think I really have any other than expand the pans that I already have. Um, use up that one like skin color shade for me. Um, and the thing is, I don't want to make goals for the eyeshadows because I don't know what color schemes I'll be drawn to. And I don't want to limit myself and force myself to use something that I don't want to do. So honestly, I'm just going to use them and see what happens next month. I just don't feel like making goals this month. I, I don't know, I'm just not in the right headspace or something. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please check out the other people doing this project if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye.